welcome to Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City as we get set for the first of four meetings this season between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Los Angeles Clippers. Hello again, everyone. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, calling the action tonight. So as the game gets underway, what's the key to success for Oklahoma City here tonight? Mike, I've heard all about Lob City. It isn't about Lob City. It's about Point Guard City. When Chris Paul came to the Clippers, he turned them from All right. Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Paul, Mr. DG94 here with Why? Because you can throw <sighs> another to NBA Live My Career Gameplay. Now, this will be post commentary because of what has transpired um, in the past 24 hours. Um, Basically, what has happened is NBA Live has been canceled. I'm going to say canceled because I don't believe they're going to come out with anything in early, 2000, early 2017. It's going to get pushed back regardless. So NBA Live 17, I believe it's canceled. If you have high expectations for NBA Live to even produce anything, and if you're in tech come on man if they if they working on a mobile game don't you think that you know <laughs> no, don't you think that you know maybe nba live the console version is going to get canceled so to me personally i feel like nba live 17 is canceled um i don't trust nba live they've done this before and they've gone long periods of time without a, 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 a without a game so i don't believe that they can do this so i'm saying i'm just saying i'm giving them at least a year i don't think they'll go that far off i think they'll take a year off to just get their shit together um so yeah that's where i stand on that so if everybody's saying uh, they not it's not canceled it's delayed it, no it's canceled it's canceled if you if if it was delayed then why not just say NBA Live will be released later than usual why not just say that why push it back and then you know what I'm saying like because he said we're gonna push it back you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying we're pushing the date back a little bit you know what I'm saying for where we normally release the, the title at so that's where I stand on that um, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I, I just want to talk to y'all about this, man. Like, NBA Live 17 is canceled. It's canceled. It's not delayed. It's canceled. Get it through your heads. Don't trust EA. Don't trust NBA Live, the NBA Live devs, one bit, bro. They've done this before. They will do it again. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't trust these people, man. Y'all put too much faith in these, in these people, man. Like, you can't put faith in people who you know can't deliver. If they haven't delivered a good game, if they haven't delivered a good game in over, uh, in over like six years now, why would you believe that they would delay a game that they're going to work hard on? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it one bit. They say they're going to do it, but nine times out of ten, I believe NBA Live 17 is just going to get canceled. They're going to skip a year. And they're going to try and bring out NBA Live 18, which will probably be a, hopefully will be a better experience than what we've been getting. And what we've been getting, you know, for the past couple of years now. So, yeah, let's just dive right into this, though, man. So NBA Live is canceled. I talked about this last night. Um, yeah. And really, my thoughts and opinions on what's going on with NBA Live is my thoughts and opinions on, on the game right now and, and where it stands is it, it's just not, it, it just seems like they're, they're just not ready for it, for to, to compete with 2K yet. I think that, I don't think that they're ready to compete with 2K yet. That's just me personally. I don't think they're ready to compete with 2K. I think they've come to the realization that 2K is trying to outdo themselves now. That's the thing. That's the thing that I think people aren't really realizing about 2K and where they've gone this year. They're actually trying to outdo themselves now. They're trying to stop. They're trying to stop the cheese. They're trying to stop, you know, 
all the exploits and all the dumb shit that goes on in their game. Now they're not gonna stop that microtransactions and that scam shit they be doing, which is why I'm not buying NBA 2K17. But what they are doing. Excellent Gameplay wise, but gameplay wise, what they are doing is they are stepping up. They are adding in more physics. They are, they are adding in more realistic game, realistic basketball simulation gameplay. And because they keep raising the bar, NBA Live is barely touching the surface of where they are. And I know everybody gonna be like, well, NBA Live has to be different. They're a different company. They don't have to be the same. That would be true if this was the Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 era. But this this is why NBA Live can't can't be different anymore. This is why NBA Live has to follow the quota now. And it's their fault why they have to follow the quota because they stepped away. They left for I want to say for pretty much the the last the last couple of years of the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 era, the last couple of years it had left before the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One came out, they left. They tried to make a comeback, then they canceled it again. So, basically, they've, they've shot themselves in the foot. And what I mean by they shot themselves in the foot, Basically, what they did was they 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 left they left when they were when they when they were still there, you know what I'm saying? When they could still compete with 2K, when they could still be themselves, when they could still do the crazy wacky things that they could do with their game to make their game stand out from what 2K was doing in that time period but now when you let 2k take over the basketball market for a couple of years and to see the growth of 2k as it's moved forward especially with 2k 11 letting that stand out on its own and you canceling uh nba elite you pretty much gave 2k the keys to dominate to dominate the basketball genre you know what I'm saying now 2k has not been great 2k hasn't been the greatest hasn't been the greatest uh, basketball game I'm not gonna sit here and praise 2k at all I'm not gonna say oh it's the greatest basketball game on time but gameplay wise animation wise They've set the bar because they're the only because they seem to be they seem to be the norm. It's the norm with 2K. It's like anything 2K does, it becomes the norm. So when you see smooth animation, smooth gameplay, realistic simulation basketball, you have to follow that quota now. If you don't follow that quota that 2K is presenting, your game is going to suck. EA fact boys and, and NBA live them NBA live devs so basically what I'm getting at is that 2k dominated 2k pretty much dominated the basketball market um they pretty much set the bar they pretty much set the bar for where you have to be for you know for you know to have a successful basketball game and now we're at that point where, where it's like it's like if you're not on their level your game is not good now if you make an NBA jam or NBA street you can do that that's that that can be different because they don't have to be realistic that's Arcadius that's an Arcadius flow you know what I'm saying that's an Arcadius flow. But when you try to bring a Arcadius flow into a simulation type of basketball game with the same similarities that, that 2K has, you know what I'm saying? The, only, the similarities with the two games are pretty simple. They both have an NBA license. They both have...
Uh, they both have on. They both have a, uh, all. They they have all the NBA teams. They they do update rosters. They do, you know, they do ultimate teams. They do fantasy teams. You know, they have fantasy team modes that you can take online and face other people. Uh, uh, a pack opening system. Um, to get good cards and stuff like that they have a a mode where you can create a superstar and make him the best superstar and you, you can create your own superstar and make him the best player in the, in the world in the virtual reality in the virtual uh, video game world of, NBA, of the NBA so there's the similarities right there so when you're trying to do what your competition so when you're trying to match what your competition is doing but at the same time trying to be different it's not it's not gonna work it's just not gonna work I'm sorry I'm sorry but it's just not gonna work anymore it just doesn't cut anymore I don't understand why nobody in NBA live community or the NBA live devs themselves don't get this but you can't do you can't you can't try to be different anymore you you've lost you've lost that power that power is gone. You can't do that anymore. You can't be different. You have to follow what your competition is doing. There's no, you can't do it anymore. And when I get, when I say things like, oh, NBA Live needs to take some of the aspects that 2K does, such as, you know, gameplay animation wise, I'm not saying that they have to follow their graphical style. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, I'm saying like this. NBA Live graphics are good for NBA. NBA Live. They are. NBA Live graphics are good for NBA Live. We're not, but we're not talking about visuals here. And I'm going to say this in some of my future videos because my future videos are live commentary videos. This is a post commentary video. This is just to follow up on what the fuck is going on with NBA Live and why NBA Live 17 is not coming out. I just had to address this real quick. So. What I'm what I'm saying in my future videos, I'm going to take a quote from one of my future videos and I'm going to break it down like this. To all the NBA Live fag boys out there, because I gotta address y'all immediately. I gotta address y'all. You know, we, we gotta we gotta talk like this because when I talk to y'all like this, we you, you have to understand where I'm coming from. So I'm looking y'all in the face right now. So look at me. So 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 look at me. And understand where the fuck I'm coming from with this. You're trying to justify NBA Live based off looks. It's not about looks. It's about gameplay. And when the gameplay is terrible, presentation, graphics, how the players look, how they move does not matter. It's about the gameplay. It's about it's about how does the defense work how does rebounding work how does blocking work how does dribbling the ball look how does getting into the paint work you know what i'm saying they generate the animations instead of letting everything flow you know what i'm saying that's the problem with nba live nothing flows nothing flows everything is all over the place because they're generating animations as you do stuff you could be on a fast break and you could fuck around and do like a drop step you can do like a drop step um you do like a drop step layup you know what i'm saying like like where the fuck did a drop step layup come from why am i doing a euro step if you have a button for the euro step that's the thing i never understood how do you have a euro step button but you can automatically do a euro step anyway like that doesn't make sense to me you know what I'm saying? When I drop to the basket, I'm not expecting to do a Euro step unless I got one man to beat. But if I'm going there with like three niggas in the paint, I'm just trying to draw a foul so I can stop the clock. Why the fuck am I doing a Euro step? Because all that's going to do is just get my shot blocked. You know what I'm saying? They're generating your animations and everything is all over the place. Whereas NBA 2K, everything flows through. Now, some points, they do generate your animations for you. Sometimes to fuck you over. Sometimes just because... I don't know, a program error, something, some, 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 I don't know, but, but even though sometimes 2K can be a little bit all over the place with their animations, it still all flows together, you know what I'm saying, so, and, and that's the biggest thing, it's about, you know, 
just the flow and, and it's just all about the flow of how things go when you're shooting when you go four for four within the first minute and a half of the of the game in 2k your player can get hot your player can get hot and then he may not miss a couple of shots for a while you know what i'm saying so that's that's what i mean by flow it's all about how you, how everything works and how you can make the, the game transition better for for the for the user going forward. You know what I'm saying? And NBA Live just doesn't have that. And the NBA Live people are trying to justify the game based off looks. It's just as good as 2K. It looks just as good as 2. No, we're not talking about looks here. Okay? Listen. You wouldn't judge a musician based off you wouldn't judge a musician musician based off of how they look, right? You wouldn't base an artist off of how they look. You wouldn't base somebody off how they look. You, like somebody could have the somebody could have them on the glass right now. Good off the face stick back. Somebody could have the face. Somebody could have the 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 perfect body, you know what I'm saying? They could be, they could be cute in the face, thick in the waist, you know what I'm saying? But if they mute, but if that, but if that girl music is garbage, you know what I'm saying? You not you not gonna judge her based off her looks. Yeah, she look good, but her music is trash. You know what I'm saying? You gon' you gon' ba you don't base musicians off of their off of how they look you base them off of their talent because that's what that's what you're trying to invest into and that's what it is with nba live and that's what i mean by this when i'm trying to invest in the nba live i can't because the gameplay is so all over the place it's about the gameplay it's not about graphics anymore we un i understand ea fat boys yes nba live looks good for an nba live game for nba live game for nba live standards i want to say NBA Live looks good, graphic-wise. If you want to compare it to 2K, fuck no. NBA, NBA 2K wins by default. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's no debate. But when you're talking about NBA Live standards, graphical-wise, yes. Gameplay-wise, no. Because we've seen better. I, t I keep telling y'all, they when they put the effort in, they can make an amazing game. Just go back and play NBA Live 10. Go back and play NBA Live 05. NBA Live 2004. NBA Live 2003. Go back and play those games. And then come back and play the games of today. Matter of fact, go back and play NBA Live 15. NBA Live 15, I noticed that they put the effort in. I noticed that they were trying to make the game better. They were trying to elevate the game to a new level. They created one. Unfortunately, they're missing here tonight, and they missed another wide open look. And when we get to NBA Live 16, they take steps backward, which does which doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand it. So I don't understand where NBA Live, where you NBA Live fag boys are coming from with this. I don't understand where y'all coming from with this graphical improve, like where these graphical improvements or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, it looks good for NBA Live standards, but it's all about the gameplay. Nobody's talking about the graphics. We're talking about the gameplay. So when somebody sits here and says NBA Live is trash, it's based off the gameplay. If I sit here and I play, if I if I was never a basketball fan, but I needed a video game to get, but I needed a video game to help me, you know, to help me, you know, uh, to, to help me, you know, in my spare time, you know what I'm saying, when I'm not playing Call of Duty or something like that, I need a game in my spare time to help me out. Now, if I, now say I bought 2K and I bought NBA Live, I bought 2, I bought, I played NBA Live first, I'm like, it seems a little weird. It seems so. It seems so outdated. And then I play NBA 2K, and it seems like this is this is way out. This is way out of the other game's league. You know what I'm saying? This game is way out of its league. It's it's above that that other game that I just played. That's how that's how it's being perceived. You don't have to 
You don't have to do your research or do your homework to understand that NBA Live is not on a level 2K. You can literally look at it, see how everything is functioning, then play NBA 2K and be, and then look at the same thing, the same qualities, and be like, they don't have that in that game, they don't have that in that game, but everything is over here in 2K. I'm not trying to say 2K is a better game. I'm not trying to start that war. Because I don't care about either fucking game. I don't fuck with 2K. I don't fuck with NBA Live. But the point I'm trying to make is 2K has set the standard and NBA Live needs to follow it now. They took too, they took too long to come back. You took too long to come back and you let 2K set the standard. 2K has set the bar. They set the standard. You have to follow. What will become news, however... As if their poor shooting Say what you want about 2K, but at the end of the day, 2K, gameplay-wise, they they set the bar. They set the bar, and NBA Live has to follow it. Nobody is going to take this game seriously. I don't understand why y'all sit here and defend this fucking game when they clearly neglect the NBA Live community trying to get these 2K dudes to come over and play, you know, NBA Live. These 2K dudes are not going to fuck with NBA Live. When somebody says they prefer something over another thing, when somebody says they prefer Burger King over McDonald's or McDonald's over Burger King, you should know right away that that person is not going to want to go to the restaurant to the fast food restaurant of your choosing you know what I'm saying so maybe you may just have to go to McDonald's or you may just have to go to Burger King to to eat because that person prefers this restaurant over that restaurant you know what I'm saying or somebody put or when you listen to music somebody may prefer Rihanna somebody may prefer somebody may prefer J. Cole somebody may prefer Kendrick Lamar somebody may prefer Drake so you know what I'm saying you have to so you have to understand that these that people have their own type of needs and wants so these are your Western conference so when you try to get these 2k dudes to play NBA Live and you're trying to get these guys to play the game so it can get good promotion behind it, it's not going to work. When they say they prefer 2K, they're basically saying, I don't fuck with your game. It's nice to see that you, it's nice to see the competition between you and 2K, but I'm still going to prefer 2K over, I'm still going to prefer 2K over I'm still going to prefer 2K over you. You know what I'm saying? So that's really where I'm going at with this. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you just can't, it's not, you just can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking to the NBA Live devs on this one. You just can't do it. You got to cater to the people who are in the NBA Live community. You know what I'm saying? You can't cater to the 2K dudes because they're not going to cater to you. They're going to use you to get views and get money off of the trailers that you put out and whatever you want them to tell the people. So whatever you want them to tell the people, whatever you want them to say, they're just going to use you. They're not going to... They're not going to, you know, accept... They're not going to sit here, you know what I'm saying, and accept, uh, accept NBA Live. You know, even if you do make a good NBA Live, maybe maybe they might play it if it's good to them. But nine times out of ten, they're not gonna fuck with you when they feel like the other game is better, and that's what I want to play more. So understand where I'm coming at with this. You have to set the you have to you have to you have to reach where your competition has set the bar, and your competition keeps raising the bar every year they keep doing something different they keep adding something to their to their game to make their game stand out from yours and you're trying to stand out from them but the thing is the way of how you stand out is the way that nba live stands out they stand out in like a prehistoric type of you know they stand on some prehistoric type of form you know what I'm saying it's like the way they stand out it would only it would like sell in a playstation 2 early Xbox 360, early um, PlayStation 3 era. 
nowadays you can't you can't do it like that anymore. You can't market like that anymore. You can't you can't just put a game out there like that anymore. You have to reach the level where your competition is and you have to outdo your competition. You have to have a better engine than your competition. You've got to have better animations than your competition. You've got to have a better variety of modes in your game than your competition. If you don't have that, you're not going to succeed. And that's why NBA Live keeps dropping the ball. It's getting to the point now where nobody's going to give a fuck about this game. Even the most hardcore fans are not going to give a fuck about this game. I am not a hardcore fan. Like I said, I don't give a fuck about NBA Live. I don't give a fuck about NBA 2K. But considering the fact that I play both games, I know what's I know I feel like I know what's best for NBA Live. I've made two wish list videos, and I'm pretty sure with the expectations growing on NBA Live, they can't handle the pressure, so they're just gonna cancel. They're, they're going to cancel NBA Live 17, like I said. They're canceling it. They're not delaying it. They're canceling it. Because even if they do delay it, they still going to come out with the same fucking product that we got this year. And that's not acceptable. If you come out with the same product that you gave us this year, it's not going to work. So they're just going to drop the mobile game. They're going to throw some little screenshots out here for NBA for supposedly NBA Live 17. Then they're going to later on say that NBA Live 17 is not going to come out, but NBA Live 18 will be out in the following in, in the fall of 2017. Hopefully that's what happens. Hopefully we don't get what we got last time when they try to do NBA Elite and they had to cancel that. And then they just said, you know what, fuck it. We'll just wait till the new consoles come out. So hopefully we don't have to go the entire console span before they can make a game that can match up with their competition. Because the longer they wait, the more stronger your competition set. The more stronger your competition sets the standard for basketball for basketball video games. So that's personally me, man. I I I've been saying it for so long. It's time for a third part. It's time for a third party to step up in here and compete with 2K because NBA Live can't do it. NBA Live is not the hope. We can't. We you can't. You can't hope NBA Live can get better. There has to be a third party. Now, I've been pushing for a while now to say that some, a company like Rockstar should make a sports game. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like with all the shit that they do with Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption and all this other stuff, I feel like they could make possibly one of the best sports games ever created. So maybe y'all should start tweeting at them to make sports games. I don't know. Because we need a third party in here. Because NBA Live is not going to save the day. NBA Live is not going to raise the bar. They tried, and they failed miserably. 10,000 units in the first month, that's a fail. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this, um, about, about what's going on here. The rest of the videos for the rest of the week will be live commentary videos um, with the webcam. Um, also, um, Uncharted, I'm not going to be able to do it this Friday because I got to work on Friday. So... When I get up, so whenever my off day is next week, whatever off day I got next week, I'm going to just do the live stream then and there. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. I will see you on the next video. NBA Live is canceled. Deal with it. Bye.